Good morning guys, Merry Christmas. Today Christmas is in full effect. I'm drinking a peppermint mocha bulletproof coffee. It's got one tablespoon of Terrasol's just 100% cacao powder and then two drops of peppermint essential oils. Today I'm gonna show you guys my favorite seasonal recipe that we have. It's so good that we served it like through the summer last year. Obviously by the title you guys know what it is. It's our vegan um, eggnog, our spoof on eggnog. We'll get into it here, but I want to show you guys the shop is done being decorated. Mom made a wreath. I'm going to show it to you. I don't want to go outside because it's freezing, but I'll show it to you guys. Mom and Jordan have this little gift card set up. Ooh, I don't want to go out there. You guys just want to see it from the inside? We finished up the window boxes and got the greenery hung out here. I think that's my favorite like Christmas decoration in the shop. all of my almond milk testing, I found that almonds or cashews or whatever nut you're soaking typically take on, I think it was 90% of the water weight that they're gonna take on. So doing a 48 hour soak isn't gonna get you uh, that big of a difference in yield. Uh, so if you feel like you need to make these in a pinch, a uh, 24 hour soak is good. And I've even done like a two hour room temp soak uh, and kind of like a made to order, um, blend it quick, and let it sit for a minute. There's different variations to soaking almonds that you can do to kind of get you through whatever situation you need to. If you're learning to make almond milks, I definitely recommend checking out my almond milk playlist. There's lots of pointers and tips that you can pick up along the way as I learned how to make them here. I'll link the playlist and this video from last year. We can see. We didn't have Judy this time last year, so it'll be fun to look at the differences. And if you're an at-home juicer, you can make this same recipe with a masticating juicer. Um, or like the almond cow, if you guys have seen that. So I do equal parts almonds and water, soaked almonds and water in the Vitamix. I've measured that weight out so many times, it's almost always consistent. Uh, a little over two cups of water is about two cups of soaked almonds in wheat. I think a 24 hour soak leads to a 57% increase in weight. So if you soak, I wrote it down. If you soak one pound of almonds, you'll get like one and a half pounds of soaked almonds. Seven pounds of almonds soaked for 24 hours weighed 11 pounds. Normally when I press almond milks, I'll press all of our recipes. I'll make the almond milk and then off of that almond milk I will press. I'll pour out and make the individual recipes. We did have just a big order of almond milks come in yesterday, so I had to make another little batch, just took another batch of almonds. Show you guys the rest of our almond milk menu. I was getting the salad bar set up. 
just our plain almond milk. Uh, it's really good. It tastes like cookies and cream. Like, it's just really good. Our coffees and matchas are really popular. The coffee is a fan favorite. Everybody loves the coffee. It's so good. I haven't tried this one. What makes it holiday -y? Ginger, vanilla, cacao. Very similar spices uh, go into this holiday drink that went into that holiday drink. The basic Christmas spices, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon. And then we use a fun uh, mesquite sweetener that gives it kind of a bite. It tastes similar to like a spice chai. It's really good. Last drop of liquid out of there. The main like flavor component of this is the cinnamon, the maple syrup, uh, and the mesquite powder. Mesquite powder has a lower glycemic index. It's kind of why it's popular as a sweetener. We use good vanilla. This is local maple syrup from the farm that we get all of our uh, local raw dairy and butter. And same form. Sea salt. And then we ground up some fresh uh, nutmeg that gives it a nice little spiced flavor. When I was originally learning to make um, almond milks, I would add my spices directly to the filler and they would just sit on top. I now add my sweetener, my sea salt, and all the spices into the Vitamix, and I just give it a quick little stir, and then I run it through the strainer and into the pitcher. Give it a little mixy mix. I'm just getting some of the dried spices off the wall right there. And this is what it looks like when they just sit on top when it's not mixed in with the sweetener and the sea salt. See the difference? See the difference? This drink is so good. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas. One of my faves. Might be my favorite. One of our recipes. This recipe, I think, it's still on Good Nature's blog. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But we did like a write-up with them and it's got pictures and stuff if you want to get a little more in-depth with it. This is one of those drinks that gets better like overnight as the spices sit and kind of marinate in there. This drink is so good. It's so thick and delicious. People buy it as their coffee creamer. Drink it warmed up. It's so good. Seasonal. Almond. Ooh, that's a tough choice. Which almond milk would you pick? Comment down below. I think I'd pick... I mean, I gotta go with the nog, but the matcha's always a close second. Another seasonal we're offering right now is our spiced cider. It's been so cold. It's got a nice kick to it. It's got a nice heat. Um, and half of that heated up with like uh, hot water in a mug is really nice. That wraps it up for today. Definitely check out the almond milk playlist if you're interested in seeing how my process has kind of evolved and changed and how we've grown uh, over the last year. There's a lot of content there you can find around almond milks. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!